Hello, I'm Joseph Delagrati. Many of us spend many hours sitting at the computer, in the workplace, doing tasks in the sitting posture. Sitting can actually be a source of problems for us. It can affect joints from the wrist to the shoulder to the neck, all the way down, pelvis, spine, knees. We have a program that can change all of that. It just takes a little change of perspective and practice. Let's show you how to do that. Can you imagine that sitting can be an active exercise of everyday life, much like any good active exercise? Now, an active functional exercise means something that actually improves you. So we could turn sitting into that kind of activity and actually benefit ourselves in the workplace while we're spending all of these hours. That's a change of view from this kind of sitting in which you forget the body and it sort of goes into dissociated state while you're in the computer screen world to an active participation in which everything I'm doing in this world is connected with what I'm doing down in this world. Pelvis, spine, okay? shoulders, neck, arms and hands. No longer disconnected in myself, but turning that activity to a positive program of movement, stimulation, and that constitutes exercise. So people talk about posture, right? Good posture. So they say, sit up straight. All right, I can sit up straight. That might help, but then I get rigid and tired and I give up eventually and sit back. Uh, oh, lean forward or do something else. So the advice is nice, but how do you sit up straight? So let's show you how you really get into good posture, get the best of the movements and go into improvement rather than degeneration. So number one, here's how it begins. You see that if I'm going to sit here, I like an a slightly asymmetrical position. That means I might modify it. I don't have to sit exactly like this, make myself rigid. But I might be a little asymmetrical, and the first thing I'm going to do is catch these little forces. My feet and legs are helping me, and I'm just like a fish in the water. Think of it this way. It looks still, but the fins in me are moving. So I'm moving my pelvic floor fins, and I've got these light resonant movement contractions going on. I don't even think about it after a while. I just do it. And while I'm sitting and working, I'm actually getting a little bit of an uplift. So all the forces are going up. That's what I want. When I stop feeling this or getting tired and doing that, I know I've lost it. So here's my first start right here. And these are what we call vectors or pathways of movement. In other words, I'm reading my body much like anyone who does anything has to figure out how to do it. If I drive a car down the road, I've got to steer the car. My body is learning the vectors of the road. Uh, well, right now I'm steering my body while I'm sitting and I'm using this kind of an easy movement. Well, at times I might have to turn, talk to somebody, reach for something, okay? And now I'm into what's called turning motion. So I'm using this same core support from here and I'm just turning the vector like I'm driving the car and I'm staying up. So I'm using the vector to keep me up and that's what the program teaches how to get this what specific exercises you use and how to develop that. So every, even while I'm sitting here, I am actually now thinking of using those little rotational paths, see? And I can be working and I can be this, but I'm still moving. While I'm sitting, I might as well get a little more. Um, I might be waiting for a download. I may be waiting for a communication. I may be reading email. And you know what? I could take a minute or two and do what we call sit walk. Now watch closely. This leg pushes and there's the vector of force. It's going right up there. It's like the river current. You know, after a while you learn to read these things. Okay? You learn to read the current, the flow. And here it goes up here. And if I push off with this leg, it goes up here. So actually I could be sitting and taking a little break and uh, getting some prep walk in. So now I'm doing sit walk. And if I do that a little, or I do it more, 
or I really want to get a little burst, you can see it going into my upper body, my spine is now moving. Okay, the key to posture is the movement now going into the spine. The spine supports the body 50% of its weight and distributes the forces 50% of its weight. Why don't we use it the way it was designed to be? Okay, if you've got a good transmission in your car, you should use it. If you've got a good motor, use it. Well, here we are. I'm using my spinal engine, so to speak, and there I am getting the spine moving. That's going to keep me up immediately. All the forces are going up, and now my shoulders are moving and my arms are moving. So I'm taking all of this stress out. Okay, now I've got that going for me. Wonderful. That's going to relieve me of this tendency to pull the shoulders forward. Disaster. Once the shoulders are out of alignment this way, rotator cuff, neck problems, impingements, down to the wrist, carpal tunnel, fingers, and the next thing is you don't know what's going on, but you know you have pains down here, and yet it's coming from up here. So I want to do a little sit walk, and you know, at times I just might take a rest and bend forward, or I might get off the chair. We tell people to stretch if they've been sitting a lot, that's very nice, but stretching is nowhere near as effective as what we're showing you because we're adding in so much more activity. So I come back now, ah, calmed, energized, refreshed, alive, alert, and now I go on to another. So I want a little more uplift, we do what's called side lift. So I just push off with the right leg and I'm going up, push off with the left. Got that idea? Push off, push off. And the whole idea is I'm getting this uplift now. So I could actually do a form of side lift sit walk and get a little more activity going. So all of this is improving me. You don't want to be in this kind of a mode of working. You want to be this forward or sitting nicely or supported. You'll notice I have a few more tricks up my sleeve that I can also do it call asymmetrical knee drop. Watch this. If I get tired, the knees are getting uh, too tight, the uh, back of the legs, I just drop that leg down. Look, ah, I can sit and work and actually move my leg around. Very good for lengthening some of the muscles, important muscles uh, here that run up to the spine. And I could actually work quite well in this sort of almost athletic mode. Right? Change the other way, drop the knee down. It's very comfortable. Move around. Give me that motion. As much as I can get during the day, I'm going to need it. So in this way, I can now start to really get uh, spinal strength. I want to keep my upper body moving, and I want to also start to utilize it more. So during the day, I might really work a little bit with the arms, the spine, the shoulder girdle, twist around, and really kind of utilize that refreshing motion, stretching motion, and it's just doing a lot of good right through the spine. And the net effect of it is my shoulders will feel more relaxed and settled. So when I go back to work, I'm calm, I'm clear, I'm ready to go, and I'm less likely to have the common problems that uh, we all have when we sit too much. So if you're going to have to make your living by sitting a lot, why not turn sitting into the best experience you can have? Make it work for you, not against you. You have no choice but to work at your desk but you do have the choice to benefit your body while you're working at the desk. Our program has been shown in research and in the field to increase worker productivity and satisfaction. So come and join us. We can present our program at your facility and show you how.